My name is Bess Kaplan and I work for the Baltimore Ecosystem Study and then we conduct ecological research in the Baltimore region. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can test the infiltration rates of different surfaces in a schoolyard. So what you do is you take an infiltrometer and this is just tube, a clear, clear PVC and we've affixed a scale to the outside going from zero milliliters to 300 milliliters. And what you do is you select your surface type in the schoolyard, and in this case we're doing kind of a dirt surface. And if the ground is soft enough, you can twist it in, or what usually works best is to take a two by four and pound it in with a rubber mallet. As your scale is still showing, you'll be okay. And then take your water and you pour your water in until you get to the zero milliliter mark. And then you're going to start a timer. And every 15 seconds, you'll take a reading on the scale and you'll write, write it down on your data sheet. And at the end of two and a half minutes, or when your water runs out, you stop. And we'll do this for several different surface types in the schoolyard and then graph our results. And what we'll get are the rates of infiltration for the different surface types in the school. So usually you would have three or four students to a group to help with the different jobs. So one student to pour the water, one student to do the timing, one student to do the reading, and the uh, last student to do the recording of the data. So I'll try to do all of those things myself uh, just to demonstrate what the activity looks like. So I'm going to pour this water in and I'll stop when it gets to the zero milliliter mark. Got that. And then right away we start our stopwatch. And every 15 seconds we will take a reading. And I'll jot it down. And our last reading we take at two and a half minutes or when all of the water is gone ever comes first. So now we're going to test a mulch surface. This should go much faster. Is take your values and place them over on this graph over here. Uh, so we'll just maybe do um, one dirt sample and our mulch sample so you can see the difference in the slope of the line. And that's going to tell you um, what your rate of infiltration is. minutes 200 milliliters and then we'll just connect our points and we want to label our line so we'll call this dirt one dirt one okay and now we'll do the same for our mulch so zero zero 15 seconds we're all the way up at 80 already 30 seconds 150 milliliters, 45 seconds, 190, one minute, we're at 240 milliliters, a minute 15, we're at 260, and a minute 30, all of our water was gone. So again, we'll connect our points, and we'll label mulch. 
now you can clearly see the slopes of the line are quite different. Points for each of our surface types, you can see that the line for mulch is much steeper than our line for dirt. And that corresponds to a faster rate of infiltration in our mulched area. And that is what you would expect to see given that the particles in mulch are much larger than our dirt particles. And typically we see less soil compaction underneath mulched areas than uh, we see in uh, dirt and lawn areas. Now we'll demonstrate what it looks like to do this activity with an impervious surface. So now we're going to test the impervious surfaces of the schoolyard. And you can do this using the same protocol, except you need to create a seal with some modeling clay. So we're going to press it onto our impervious surface. Just pressing the clay around the bottom. nothing is coming out of the bottom of your clay seal and usually it helps to keep a hand on top a little bit of pressure helps keep that seal uh, together while you're doing this activity so let's pour some water in students to predict what's going to happen and usually we go for about 30 seconds the students realize water is not infiltrating and you can stop this activity. 